Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of The Light. My name is Guy, this is week two of our Christmas season message. Amen, and we hope that you all had a great and amazing, um, joy-filled Thanksgiving, amen. We also hope that your Christmas is also filled with a lot of joy and family and peace and, and, and good tidings, amen. So, first of all, we'd like to thank everybody for tuning in that's tuning in uh, for your first time here. If you're tuning in online, um, on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, or Daily Motion, you guys are all welcome, and we want to thank you for tuning in. Keep on tuning in and seeing what you can get out of it. Amen. If it's your first time tuning in, we want you to know that the power of Jesus Christ can transform and change your life forever. Amen. And we know that it's going to. And, and no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're facing, amen, that the power of Jesus Christ can change your life forever. Like I said, it's week two of our Christmas message. That's right. Last week was week one, and it was um, somewhat about John the Baptist, a little bit about Mary and how Mary knew Elizabeth, amen, and, and, and how they were related and how Jesus, amen, is uh, related to John the Baptist, amen. Um, but it's amazing that there's not enough time to cover every single thing that you want to cover in, um, in the Christmas messages. Next week is going to be, uh, Christmas, our Christmas message to you because it's from Wednesday to Sunday. And then there's not another message till after Christmas. So if we gave the Christmas message two weeks from now, it would be the week after Christmas. So that's not going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the Christmas message to you, which is going to be amazing. It might be a Christmas message that you've never heard before, but it's about the wise men, the shepherds, and the magi. And I'm not going to spoil it for you, but but you're going to be amazed. Amen. So tune in for that. Uh, so let's jump right into this week's story. Amen. Matthew 1, 18 through 24. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When, as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, was found with child of the Holy Ghost. So Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her public example, was minded to put her way privily. So Joseph found out. So this was after the angel had came to, to Mary because it says that she was already pregnant with the Holy Ghost child. Amen. So Joseph found out and he didn't want to make a big deal about the whole thing in front of everybody. Um, I don't know if you know anything about those days, but those days were pretty rough when, when the wife cheats on you or has a baby or is cheating on you somehow. You know what I mean? You There's like consequences. Amen? Even today, sometimes. Um, so he was going to put it away quietly. He was going to make it so like, you know, this never happened. Okay? But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him, saying, Joseph, thou art the son of David. Fear not. To take up unto thee, Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived of her is of the Holy Spirit. And he shall bring forth a son, and you should call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled that which was spoken by the prophet, the Lord, excuse me, by the prophet of the Lord, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel which being interpreted is God with us. Verse 24, Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angels of the Lord had bidden him. So, the angel of the Lord appears to Joseph, tells him that, it's, uh, that the, the pregnancy of Mary is of the Holy Spirit, and, um, and that he should call his name as Amen, or excuse me, Jesus. Okay? So it, when it says, so Joseph raised up and did as the angel of the Lord told him to and took him to him and his wife, it means that he went and he married Mary. Amen. So she still had not been with anybody even till Jesus was born. Amen. Luke 
1, 57 through 80. Now Elizabeth full time have came that she should be delivered. And she brought forth a son. And her neighbors and her cousins heard how the Lord had showed her great mercy upon her and rejoiced with her. And it came to pass that the, on the eighth day of circumcision, they called him Zechariah after the name of his father. And his mother answers and says, Not so. His name shall be called John. And they said unto her, None of thy kindred is called by this name. So they made signs to Zechariah because he was dumb and they, they read signs to him like what should his name be and his mouth was op uh, excuse me and they wrote on the table uh, he wrote on the table because he couldn't speak it says his name should be John and they all marvel at this immediately his mouth was open and his tongue loosened and he was able to speak and he praised God fear came on all that dwelt around them and these sayings were noised abroad throughout all the hill countries of Judea. So everybody heard about this, that Zechariah was now able to speak, but he wasn't before, and it was a miracle. And they all that heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, What manner of child shall this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit in the deserts of until the day of of his showing unto Israel. So Mary is getting married to Joseph and Elizabeth is giving birth to, to John, amen? Um, they were a, a few months apart. John the Baptist was first to be born first, to go before Jesus, to prepare the way for Jesus. And then Jesus was to be born here shortly after, amen, on Christmas. But obviously that's not till next week, so we're not gonna go into the, we're not gonna give you the Christmas message right now. We're going to give it that to you on Christmas. So, but there's still one more thing. Luke 2, 1 through 6. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be taxed. Amen. And this taxing was first made with Cyrenius was the governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was the house and lineage of David. To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And it was so that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. Amen. So that's where we're going to stop. So first of all, Caesar Augustus gives out a decree. I don't know if you know how powerful this man is, but he decreed that the whole world should be taxed. Uh, this is probably one of the most powerful leaders in, in, in the history of the world. Amen. He just decrees that the whole world should be taxed. So everybody does. They decide that they're going to go get to go get taxed. Um, so. Mary and Joseph go to Judea. Amen. Because he was the house and lineage of, of, of David. Um. So, but it says that Mary was great with child and that the days while they were there, that the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. So while they were there, obviously they were tarrying around a while. They were just hanging out around a while and, you know, they go there, get census and go back home. No, they were hanging out a while. She was pregnant. So while she was there, it came time for her to be delivered. Okay. So like I said, that's not until next week. Amen. When we find out more about the shepherds, the wise men, and the magi who found Jesus Christ laying in a manger. Amen. My name's Guy, and we'll see you next week. Merry Christmas.
We want to thank everybody for tuning in for this week's Christmas message, week two of Christmas message. We also want you to know that we're praying for miracles to happen for you and for those people who need healing miracles, amen, to happen in their life. We're also praying that joy, peace, and prosperity come to you and good tidings to you, amen, from the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name's Guy, and we want if you want to give back to this ministry, uh, there's going to be some, some closing credits here, amen, that's going to be for you to be able to give.